There he is. Oh my god. So this is your first feature length film. Yes. Um, what sort of challenges did you like face that you maybe didn't know you'd have to face? <laughs> I gotta do this. Uh, definitely <laughs> uh, picking lenses. That was something that I was like, okay. Like uh, my DP, Tim <laughs> Surstrat, was like, I told him the kind of look I was going for and I described it mm -hmm. and he's like, great, let's go to the lens house. And I'm like, perfect. I'm Googling, I'm like, lens house. I'm like, what? <laughs> uh, it was a big learning curve for me. And he was like, do you like this or this better? I mean, there's so many options. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was cool, it was really eye-opening. The analogy to me is like when you buy a house, yep. when you're like, oh, these things I never had to think about. Totally. That you're like, I don't know, yeah. how do you do this? How do yeah. you? What is a retaining wall? You know yeah. what I mean? Like, why do I need to get that inspected? Like, yeah. what's up with that? <laughs> Sasha Trash! Mr. Kim! You're like our own Asian Oprah. How much money do you have now? <laughs> Be serious. Oh. Why is Netflix sort of the right home for this movie? Like, and what's different sort of about working with them? I mean, this is my first experience with Netflix. You know, Allie came into it having had her specials here, so she was familiar with everybody, and I, I loved it. I felt super supported, not only the movie, but me personally as like a filmmaker, because we were all on the same page from jump. You know, like mm -hmm. we were all making the same movie, and. That's not always the case. Like sometimes, you know, your idea is different than the actor's idea, than the studio's idea, and that was not the case here. It was it was clear that they were supportive of this story, never tried to make it anything other than it was, and they were just very excited. It seems like, and I don't know if this is true or not, that the press is maybe like a little faster as far as like getting it out to the public, maybe right. than like a traditional. That's so true. Thing. Like we literally shot this a year ago. Like last summer we were in Vancouver and San Francisco shooting, so it feels quick for a movie. Yeah, it doesn't have to sit forever. Yeah, and like trying and to figure out the timely. weekend. I, you know, I don't know yes. how that planning, that people do that in the traditional studios. I'm, like, I'm dying to know. I, me too, because I'm like, how is this, like, cause I think they go like three years out, I feel like. Hi, baby. Hi, Mr. Flash. Hi, Mr. Thugs. Mr. Beard scratching my thighs. Hi, Mr. Taste. I miss your thumbs. You're so good with your thumbs. Keanu Reeves is in this movie. And he delivers in a way that, like, I maybe if you maybe if you've seen Speed a zillion times, you don't necessarily <laughs> think of Keanu Reeves maybe in that way. Right. Um, sort of when he arrived on set, were you like, "Hey, is this guy going to be good?" You know what I mean? How did you know he was the right guy for this? <laughs> I mean, we had a meeting with him beforehand when he first read the script, and he wanted to sit down and sort of talk about the character. And it, from that meeting, a lot he was pitching so much funny stuff, and for his character and just ideas and jokes. And so immediately, I was like, "He." He's gonna be great. And then we just improv He had jokes that he was like pitching and wanted to try, and a lot of those wound up in the movie, and it was just a fun energy, you know? And then plus, he's working with Allie and Randall, who are like the best, mm -hmm. you know, at the top of their game, so. And from what I read, he seemed to be like, he knew their shit. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, he yeah. knows who they are, and that's great. Oh my god, when we sat down, he was like quoting Allie's stand-up to her, and he was like, you know, from Baby Cobra. He was like, <laughs> I love when you did this, and you just blew up this, and whatever, and you know, it was amazing. I was a fly on the wall at that, th like Keanu Reeves telling Allie Wong how much he loved her stand-up. <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> what an observer. Do you have a favorite Keanu Reeves movie? <sighs> god, I mean. I love John Wick. I love um, Speed. Mm -hmm. I also love Bill and Ted, the original. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there's so many. Matrix, obviously. I mean, what are we even doing? He's a, a legend. The anniversary of Speed's coming up, so I've been thinking about it a lot. And just like, it's, especially living in LA, it's like pretty iconic. I know, it's so amazing. And then speaking of favorite movies, obviously big rom-com. This movie has like some some nods to like similar rom to other rom-coms or like you have to kind of consider the universe. Do you have a favorite one that you'll always watch over and over? Listen, I would never turn off when Harry met Sally. <laughs> I will always stop on Bridget Jones's diary. Here's a controversial one. Sex in the City. The first Sex in okay, the one City. Or two, I was going to say. Let's not talk about two. <laughs> Sex in the City 1. <laughs> I mean, it's mm -hmm. it's a great it's a great movie. I agree. I <laughs> will always watch that movie. You still have the Corolla? What are you looking at? My back seat? Because we had sex back there. Oh my god! So what do you think? That it might be even smaller and grosser than I remember. Hey, you better still be talking about my back seat. Hey! 